Hello friends, today we will discuss how to measure or record the blood pressure uh, with Sphygma manometer. We will just explain you the parts of the instrument and uh, how to actually to record the blood pressure in this particular video. So for this, this is the Sphygma manometer, okay. The uh, instruments which are required is Sphygma manometer and this stethoscope, okay. So uh, this instrument was uh, discovered or invented, most, most specifically invented by in the year 1881 by SS Karl Ritter von Busch. It is, uh, he was an Austrian scientist, okay. Later in the year 1896, uh, then Italian scientist by name Rivarochi, okay, on his name, this Rivarochi cuff, this cuff is also known as Rivarochi cuff, okay. So Rivarochi again, uh, he introduced this uh, rubber bag uh, which is known as Rivarochi cuff to that instrument which was uh, earlier invented in 1891 by the Australian scientist, okay. Then further in the year 1901, then American scientist uh, uh, Harvey Cushing, sir Harvey Cushing, uh, on him the Cushing's reflex is also there, you know the relationship between the intracranial pressure and the blood pressure, that is the Cushing reflex, okay, uh, it was discovered by Harvey, Sir Harvey Cushing. So he modified this in the year 1901, he went to Rivarochi and uh, took this design and again he modified few of the things and later in the year 1905, uh, Russian scientist Nikolai Korotkov, okay, so he uh, found out this auscultatory method and, and on whose name uh, this Korotko sound is also the, uh, named uh, after the scientist, Russian scientist, okay, in the year 1905. So almost a century back this was uh, invented and uh, it was modified, so many things were modified and finally we have this type of instrument for recording the blood pressure, okay. Now this is the typical manual method. Uh, by rec of recording the blood pressure, Sphygma manometer and this is the gold standard that is the mercury manometer. Apart from this, there are other manometers also available. So the other instruments uh, which are available in the market is, this is one of the digital one, okay. So the only difference here is the procedure is same. Here you can see instead of this mercury manometer, there will be some digital lining and digital recording. But however, today I'll show how to record the blood pressure with this mercury manometer itself, okay, which is the gold standard. And uh, nowadays even we have the automatic, automatic uh, devices and also along with this um, mercury manometer, we have an aneroid type, okay, which looks like an analog clock, okay, uh, which has a typical like a wall clock, like a digital uh, round thing. So, but today we will demonstrate with this instrument. So first let us see the parts of this instrument. So see, parts of the instrument, you can see here this is, a, there is a glass tube in that this is basically acts as a mercury manometer and the recording is from 0 to 300 millimeter, right, 0 to 300 millimeter and the difference between the each marking is just 2 millimeter, right, okay. And it is connected to the mercury reservoir. Here there is a mercury reservoir, this black color thing, this mercury reservoir and there is a lock here. So you can see you can off or on. So whenever you off it, the mercury can't go here. When you on it, then only the from this reservoir, it will go to the mercury manometer, right? Now this mercury reservoir on the top, you can see there is a rubber tube. This is a rubber tube, right? It is ultimately connected to this cuff, which is known as Rivarochi cuff, okay? as I already mentioned in the history, why it is called so. Now, the speciality of this cuff is here, you can see there is a rubber bag, this green color thing, what you are seeing inside this, there is a rubber bag and this rubber bag, uh, you can see it is uh, around 12.5 centimeter in width and around 23 centimeter in length, okay. Now, this dimension is very important and this remainder thing is just a cloth, okay, cotton cloth here. So, this Rivarochi cuff, this uh, width, and this dimension is very important. This is usually meant for the adult. For children and all, the cuff size will be less. It is 8 centimeter here, 8 centimeter for 8 years old. And for 4 to 5 years, still further the size will be reduced. And in the, in, for infant, it is just 2 to 3 centimeter. Okay. So you can see this uh, rubber bag. Rubber bag is connected to this two pipes. One rubber pipe is connected to this mercury reservoir, right? And one more is connected to this air pump. This air pump is usually made up of rubber, so it is also known as rubber pump. This is an air pump by inflating the, it is meant to inflate the air. So whenever we push like this, the air will flow through this rubber tube to this Rivarochi cuff, okay. And there is a valve here. So you can either deflate, deflate the thing or you can, basically this is the uh, 
on position okay and you, you can close the wall like this right so these are the parts of the instrument further you can use this stethoscope in between i'll tell you how to use the stethoscope but before starting this let me tell you few precautions what precautions you need to take while recording the blood pressure first and foremost thing is the person or the patient on whom you are taking or recording the blood pressure first thing you should introduce him uh, like uh, you should uh, uh, take his his or her concern before recording the blood pressure and also the person should be uh, made to rest for 5 minutes at least okay then the person should have an empty urinary bladder that say that means uh, the person should not feel the urge to urinate if at all the person should go to washroom and urinate and come okay if at all if you record like that only then the it will give you spuriously high blood pressure okay then uh, generally we record the blood pressure in the sitting or lying down position so when you are in the sitting position you should give an adequate back rest as well as the feet rest feet should be on the rest on the ground okay it should not be lying in the air like that it should, the feet as well as the back should be proper rest and the legs while sitting down the legs should not be crossed okay it should be uncrossed if you there is a uh, cross leg according to american heart foundation or sorry american heart associations it will increase the blood pressure for 2 to 8 mm of mercury okay then while recording don't have a conversation usually it is seen that many of the doctors while recording the blood pressure uh, they ask some clinical history or and all so please don't speak with the patient while recording the blood pressure okay it will give again uh, it may give some high blood pressure okay then uh, put the cuff on a bare hand okay there should be no clothings around and most importantly use the correct cuff size okay don't use the same for the children and uh, the children cuff should not be used for the adults correct cuff si size should be there okay now basically this should cover the medial two-third of the arm medial two-third circumference of the arm this cuff should cover okay and this most important thing is the arm this arm should be at the level of the heart and at the supported level okay it should be supported it should not be above like this while recording the blood pressure it should be at the level of your heart so with this instructions uh, we will try to record the blood pressure okay already i have taken the consent of this person and the person is at rest for 5 to 10 minutes okay now keep this lock on then you need to place this riva rookie cuff on the arm the arm should be bare arm and most importantly remember this is the main rubber cuff or the riva rookie cuff this part should cover the medial aspect of the arm if you are covering on the lateral aspect then that is the wrong thing because ultimately the purpose of this cuff is you have to occlude the brachial artery here which is bit medial here so so here you should occlude the uh, sorry you should keep it a bit medial so it should cover minimum a two-third of the arm surface okay medially okay like this you have to place it as the subject to take proper rest straight sit okay like this and it should be above one inch above the cubital fossa and it should not be very tight enough at least two fingers should be able to pass it okay or it should not be very loose it's bit loose i'll just make it bit tight okay ideally there should be no clothings okay now now this things you should do it now first thing is you should record the blood pressure by palpatory method there are two methods one is palpatory another one is auscultatory i'll just show you how to record this with the palpatory methods okay so first with the three fingers you should feel for the pulse radial pulse okay we'll make another video how to determine the radial pulse and all right now just concentrate here feel for the pulse then with one hand you are feeling the pulse and on the, the other hand just lock the things lock the wall here with air pump just raise the pressure here pump it and the pressure is moving upside so you have to raise the pressure until you are not able to feel the pulse and still further raise it for around 20 to 30 millimeter and gradually go on reducing it now go on reducing it i'm not able to feel the pulse now now at 110 millimeter i'm able to feel the pulse okay now remove this now so what this at one above 110 millimeter the i'm not able to feel the pulse that is the pressure here is compressing this artery and ultimately the pulse is diminishing okay now so at what level the pulse reappears that gives you the systolic blood pressure you have to raise it from 20 to 30 millimeter above and again put it down and while coming down uh, and the timing should be like uh, every second two to three millimeter okay 
two to three millimeter, it should come down. So at one ten millimeter, I was able to feel the pulse that records the systolic blood pressure. What is that? That is the systolic blood pressure. So with the palpatory method, we can only record the systolic blood pressure. We can't record the diastolic blood pressure. As you know, there are two important components of the blood pressure, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. So what is blood pressure? Blood pressure is the lateral pressure exerted by a column of the blood against the arterial wall. Okay. So when the heart is in systole, that is the contracting, it will give the systolic blood pressure and when the heart is in diastole, the lowest pressure, that is the diastolic blood pressure. Now for recording this diastolic blood pressure, we require the auscultatory method. Okay, and we are going to hear some sound that is known as Korotko sounds. So already in the history part, I have explained you that the Russian scientist in the year 1905 he introduced this term. Okay, so for that we required a stethoscope, and the stethoscope that ear pieces, you know, the direction of this ear piece, it should be forward, downwards, and medially like this because our external auditory canal is the direction is like that, right? Then that this chest piece it has two sides. One is the this diaphragm another one is bell and there is a knob lock here okay with a click sound so at a time either this will be open or this will be open make sure that this part is open okay that is generally we record it with this diaphragm part now keep this diaphragm part on the cubital fossa medially medial to the tendon of the biceps muscle just so that you can auscultate the uh, brachial artery right so by keeping this and uh, stethoscope here the same procedure you need to do it what you are supposed to do is just knock it down close this wall and raise this now I am raising it above this determined systolic blood pressure just 20 to 30 millimeter above that and slowly bringing down see at 110 I am able to hear certain sounds tuck 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 I am able to hear certain sounds now it's gradually disappeared disappeared by around 76 millimeter okay 76 millimeter i was not able to hear certain sounds at about uh, 110 i was able to hear sounds and at about 76 i was not able to hear the sounds so this sounds what i am able to auscultate or hear with the help of stethoscope it is known as correct coast sound. so there was no sounds heard above that and below that so systolic blood pressure was uh, 110 and diastolic was 76 millimeter Okay, so the Koretko sound which we hear generally are of five phases, in five phases. The first phase is the tapping sound like this tuck tuck, then second phase is bit murmurish, then third is bit louder sound and fourth is muffled and finally disappearing. In five phases you will hear the different qualities of this sound. The first appearance that is the tapping sound will mark the systolic blood pressure while the disappearing will make the diastolic blood pressure okay hope the concept is clear you will hear these sounds in between the systolic and diastolic the appearance of this sound is systolic and finally disappearance is the diastolic above that and below that you will not hear any sounds okay so this is the method to record the blood pressure so please subscribe our channel doctor's corner and share the link with your friends we will be making such interesting videos for you thank you